In this video, I'll be showing you how to change or remove the battery from your Asus laptop. So this can be really useful if you need to go and replace your battery, or maybe you're just having laptop issues, then sometimes disconnecting the battery can actually go and solve these issues. So the very first thing you need to do is make sure your computer is completely shut down, and obviously make sure to disconnect the power cable and any cables currently going to your computer. Now what we're going to do is place the laptop onto its front like so, and on the back of the laptop you'll see all of these small holes that, that contain a screw. So there should be around about 10 screws depending on your model of laptop and all you'll need here is a Phillips screwdriver and we're just going to take the screwdriver and unscrew each of these individually. Now you may also have some short screws and there may be some longer screws as well. So when you go and remove these just make sure you know exactly which screws went to which hole. Now if you have a magnetic screwdriver it will make this much easier to go and actually remove the screw otherwise what you can do is once you've unscrewed these you can just tilt the laptop onto its side and you can kind of give it a wiggle and the screws should just go and drop out from here. Now once all of the screws have been removed we can then go and take the case off of the laptop. Now the easiest way that I find to do this is just to go and grab something like a credit card and you can basically use the card to wedge between the case like so and then you can go around the sides trying to pop out each of the wedges like you see here. Now you can also do this with your fingers as well, but you'll just need to go all the way around the laptop just making sure to unclip all of the different parts. Once the back's been removed, you'll then be able to see the internal components of your laptop. Now the main thing that we need to focus on is the battery which is this black section at the bottom here. Now this is held down by three screws and we'll need to go and remove these using a Phillips screwdriver. So I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew each of these individually and typically you can use the same screwdriver as you use to remove the case on your laptop. So once all of the screws have been removed there's also one more thing we need to disconnect. So you can see here there's a wire going into the motherboard and we also need to make sure this is disconnected. Now this may differ slightly depending on your model of laptop but effectively you should see a kind of metal clip that's holding the connection into place. So before we can remove this connection you need to go and slide the metal grid over to the side. Now I can do that just with my finger and you can see that I can push this either to the left or to the right. So I'm going to make sure this is pushed all the way to the right hand side and then that means the cable can now come out freely. To actually remove the cable, you need to go and wedge something underneath of it. So I'm just going to use the credit card I was using earlier. Once it's fully underneath, you can go and push upwards and that should release the cable. So it might be quite fiddly to begin with, but once you know how this works, it's quite easy to actually remove. Now, once the battery has been disconnected, we can then just go and remove it from the terminal. You can then go and grab your new battery, make sure it's the same size as the battery that you're replacing. You could then go and place it in to the laptop like so and the first thing you want to do is just go and reconnect the cable that we just disconnected once it's placed in there securely make sure to go and move the metal clip back to its original position now this is important in order for the battery to be secured so i'm just going to slide this metal clip back over the connection and you can see it's now tightly secured you could then go and take the three screws and you need to screw the battery back into place once the battery has been secured you can then go and grab the back cover of the laptop laptop make sure it's facing upwards like this and you should see a gap in the top right and left hand side of the case and you simply need to go and align this up with the wedges on the back of your laptop you can see that it fits here perfectly between these two wedges now once you've done that just go and press down on the case to make sure it's firmly secured you should kind of feel the clip snap back into place once the lid's firmly secured you can then go and grab your screws and we can just re-screw these individually back one by one once all of your screws are firmly secured you can then go and open up your laptop Laptop. You can then try turning it on and your new battery should be fully working. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful. 